All right, this is our third video about El Nino versus La Nina, and we're down to the easiest part now. All right, so El Nino happens about every four to seven years, and we don't ever really know when the trade winds are going to die down, which will cause the Pacific Ocean to warm up on the west coast of North America and South America, um, and then causes more rain. We won't really know why the trade winds did all that, which will then cause the jet stream to dip down. So jet stream moves south. In the United States, and when it does, it brings cold and rainy weather to the southern USA. But the northwestern USA, where Washington State is, gets much warmer and drier. And so like scientists are still trying to figure out all the things that happen because of El Nino. And I've just told you a few that are more important for like fifth graders to know in North Carolina, but there are many, many, many more things. So like um, also like Australia would get very dry while we get warmer and wetter in South um, America. Let me show you back over on the, um, on the, globe so right while well, we get very wet during el nino and south america gets very wet well over here where all of the um cold water is right then they start to have very little rain and over here in australia becomes very dry and wildfires can be a problem during an el nino year and also they will have a very dry season more than normal in um asia so while because we get the warm water, we get lots of rain, these guys get less rain and turn into very deserty types of places. And I didn't put that on our list because in fifth grade science in North Carolina, we focus on North America, right? And mostly even how things happen in North Carolina and how they affect us. But just know that El Nino causes crazy weather changes all over the world. And so then what happens is that eventually the trade winds come back. So we'll call that for La Nina, the trade winds strengthen. Let's just call it like that. But really it just means they start to blow strong again. And what it does is it reverses everything that happened in El Nino. But that means that we've got another year or two of crazy weather as the trade winds come back and move the warm water in the Pacific back over. So like once the trade winds come back and it starts to be La Nina, they start blowing ew, east to west again, right? And as they do blow east to west, they take all the warm water that was in the Pacific that backed up over here by South America and North America and start to blow it back over to where it belongs. And as it does, it causes crazy weather changes until everything gets back to normal. So essentially what you would do for your El Nino, La Nina part of your chart is just switch everything. The Pacific Ocean warms, well, the Pacific Ocean cools down again. Near South and North America. Which means we go back to our normal amount of rain. So we have less rain. in South and North America on the West Coast. All right, the jet stream goes back up where it belongs. which puts the back the southern United States where we are, we come, we get warmer and drier. The southern USA goes back to being warmer and drier. And then Washington State gets more rainy again. The Northwest USA 
becomes normal amounts of rainy. But you have to keep in mind that it takes a year or more for La Nina to restore things back to the way they normally are. So all in all, like an El Nino to a La Nina can take three to five years. It can two to two to five years, whatever. It just takes several years for El Nino to happen and for La Nina to set things straight. All right. And so, yeah, those are that's basically the things you need to know about El Nino versus La Nina. And one final tip to keep in mind is that uh, the final rule, like we say El Nino, right? Remember he was, or El Nino, the weather system was named after Jesus, right? And if you want to, to make it super easy, because the main thing you need to remember for North Carolina, fifth grade science, is that the Pacific Ocean warms and El Nino will be warm, sweet baby Jesus. Right? And then the other way, and remember, you always have to remember it's the Pacific Ocean, not the Atlantic. When we go to the beach, we see the Atlantic, but this is all happening over in the Pacific Ocean. All right? And then La Nina, this is mean and um, sexist and uh, not always true, but at least enough true. There was a girl in my class and she was all sad one day. And um, I asked her what was wrong, and she said her friend was mad at her. And when I asked her friend if her friend was mad at her, and her friend said, I'm not mad. And then she just tossed her head and walked away. So she was kind of cold. And girls, we can be kind of cold sometimes to each other. So La Nina, remember that means girl in Spanish, and El Nino means a boy. That's when the Pacific Ocean gets cooler. The girl is the cooler one. And that's about all I have to say. All right. Have a great day, my children.